the baseline starting point section on the system allows you to set individual children's baseline starting points. The starting points that you set for a child will be displayed within their progress section. A child's progress section can be seen by placing your mouse over the progress icon at the top of the page and clicking on progress learning journal. When you arrive on this page you will see a list of the children on the system. To view an individual child's progress click on the view icon and select the area of learning that you would like to view. To view CL for example click on the view CL button on this page you'll be taken to the area of learning that you selected in this example CL communication and language to switch to the different aspects of the area of learning simply click on the selected tab for example understanding and speaking to switch areas of learning simply click on the area of learning that you would like to jump to On this page you will see the early years outcomes for the area of learning and aspects selected. This is broken down by age range, for example birth to 11, 8 months to 20 months, 16 to 26 months, 22 to 36 months, 30 to 50 months, 40 to 60 months and the early learning goals for the area of learning. If a child has already achieved an early years outcome you will see the date that the child achieved it. By using the baseline starting point section on the system, you can quickly and easily mark off early years outcomes for the child as achieved across all areas of learning. To do this, we go to Progress Starting Points. When you first arrive at the baseline starting points section, you will see a list of the current children on the system within the room that they have been assigned to. You can now click on the edit icon within the set column for the child that you would like to add starting points for. In this example we're going to select Daniel Harding. You will now be taken to the baseline starting points section for Daniel Harding. At the top of this section you will see the areas of learning, communication and language, all the way across to understanding the world. Clicking on any of these tabs will instantly take you to that area of learning. Beneath this you will see the first aspect within communication and language, for example listening and attention. Beneath this you will see the early years outcomes within the age range that they are assigned to. Here we see birth to 11 months, 8 to 20 months and so on all the way through to the early learning goals. You will then see the second aspect within the area of learning understanding and then the outcomes within the age ranges and then you will see the final aspect speaking along with the outcomes within the age ranges all the way through to 40 to 60 months and finally the early learning goals if we now scroll back up to the top of the page you will see the development status for the current age range in this example for birth to 11 months it indicates a green icon with the word secured. This means that the child has achieved all the early years outcomes for this particular age range, i.e. an achievement date has been added to each early years outcome. Likewise with 8 to 20 months again it is showing as secured. If we scroll down to 16 to 26 months on the second aspect you will see that the current status is emerging. This can indicate a number of different things. It can indicate that at least one of the outcomes has an achievement date or both of these outcomes have observations assigned to them. What we are now going to do is add starting points for this child. To do this, scroll to the top of the page. Here you will see Apply Baseline Starting Point Note and it advises you that when you add these baseline starting point notes for Daniel, you can decide where the notes you add below will appear in their progress. The notes can appear on every outcome you are marking as achieved, just one note on the last outcome within each age group or just one note on the last outcome of the last age group. The first thing we must now do is enter the note that will appear on the outcome selected. This can be any information related to the starting point or baseline for the child. 
we will now proceed to select the outcomes that we would like to add an achievement date for. As we scroll down, you can see that we cannot add an achievement date for the birth to 11 month range as the child has already achieved all the outcomes within this age group. Likewise for 8 to 20 months and 16 to 26 months and 22 to 36 months. You will notice now for 30 months to 50 months we have the option to select a date. We can now click inside the box and select the date that we would like to add. You will now see that once you've added your date all the outcomes now instantly become ticked. You can now select and deselect these outcomes. Any outcomes that you leave as ticked will be marked as achieved with the achievement date that you select. In this example, 23rd of May 2018. All other outcomes will not be marked as achieved when you save this form. We can now continue to repeat this process for all the age ranges. 40 to 60 months, we select the date and now select the outcomes that we would like to mark as achieved. You can now continue to scroll down the page, selecting the outcomes within the next aspect, in this example, understanding. Once again, birth to 11 is already secured. We can scroll down, 16 months to 26 months, we have the ability to select a date. We select the date, and you will see now that for selects familiar objects by name, it states that it has already achieved it. Understand simple sentences is the only outcome within this age range that has not been achieved. If you'd like this to be marked as achieved, leave the tick box as selected. We can scroll down 22 months and 36 months, select the date, and here you will see that two of them are already achieved and two now have a tick inside the box. These will now be marked as achieved. If you do not want them to be achieved, simply untick. You can continue to repeat this process for the entire EYFS for all areas of learning. Scrolling down the page, you will now see the next aspect, speaking. You can repeat the process. Once you have finished one area of learning, you can scroll back up to the top of the page and you can select a different area of learning, for example EAD. Clicking on EAD will switch to the Expressive Arts and Designs area of learning and you will now see the aspects within the EAD area of learning. In this example, exploring and using media and materials. Once again, you repeat the same process as before, selecting a date and then ticking and unticking the outcomes that you would like to mark as achieved. Repeat this process for each area of learning. LT, scroll down, add a date, and tick and untick the outcomes that you would like to mark as achieved. Once you have gone through all the areas of learning and the aspects, marking off the outcomes you want to mark as achieved, you can scroll back up to the top of the page and decide where you want your starting point notes to appear. As previously discussed, every outcome means that for each early years outcome that you have ticked on this page, we'll have a starting point note of starting points dash May 2018. If you prefer just to have your starting point notes on the last outcome in the age group, therefore, if you added your starting point notes to an age group that had seven outcomes marked as achieved, Instead of displaying the starting point notes on each outcome, it would only display it on the last outcome in that age group. And finally, the last option is last outcome on the last age group. Therefore, if you marked off 20 outcomes in five different age groups, your starting point notes would only appear on the last outcome in the last age group. This is entirely your decision. Alternatively, you can click the independent notes box and what will happen now is that for each age group, you can add independent notes for each age group. This is not recommended, however, is an option for you if you prefer. Once you are happy with the starting points that you have marked off, simply scroll to the bottom of the page and click on the Save button. The system will now advise you that your starting points have been saved. If we now jump to the Progress section for our child, and select the CL area of learning.
and scroll down for an example 30 months to 50 months and click on the show observation button you will see here that we have starting point 23rd of May 2018 with our starting points note that we added starting points May 2018 for all the outcomes that we ticked you will see there is an achievement date of the date that you selected the 23rd of May 2018 if you have made a mistake when adding your starting points you cannot go back to the starting point section and undo your changes any mistakes you've made must be rectified directly within this progress section for example if you add an achievement date onto an outcome that is incorrect you can delete it directly from this section to delete an achievement date for an outcome simply select the delete button alongside the date if you would like to delete your starting point notes select the delete icon to the right hand side the achievement date and the starting point notes have now been removed from that outcome you can return to the starting points baseline section at any time and repeat that process to add additional outcomes